These American service members who gave their lives, it's an overused word, but it's totally appropriate here, were heroes. Heroes who have been engaged in a dangerous, selfless mission to save the lives of others. They're a part of an airlift, an evacuation effort unlike any scene in history, with more than 100,000 American citizens, American partners, Afghans who helped us, and others taken to safety in the last 11 days. They were part of the bravest, most capable, the most selfless military on the face of the earth. And they're part of simply what I call the backbone of America. They're the spine of America, the best the country has to offer. Jill and I, our hearts ache, like I'm sure all of you do as well, for all those Afghan families who lost loved ones, including small children, or have been wounded in this vicious attack. And we're outraged as well as heartbroken. To those who carried out this attack, as well as anyone who wishes America harm, know this. We will not forgive. We will not forget. We will hunt you down and make you pay. I will defend our interests and our people with every measure at my command. Over the past few weeks, <clears throat> I know you're many of you are probably tired of hearing me say it. We've been made aware by our intelligence community that the ISIS K, an arch enemy of the Taliban, people who were freed when both those prisons were opened has been planning a complex set of attacks on the United States personnel and others. This is why, from the outset, I repeatedly said this mission was extraordinarily dangerous and on why I've been so determined to limit the duration of this mission. And as I've been in constant contact with our senior military leaders, and I mean constant, round the clock, and our commanders on the ground and throughout the day, they made it clear that we can and we must complete this mission, and we will. 